Welcome to Morrowind Monday. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, standing in the rain, and I'll be the host for this episode. We are trying to get into, or we are actually we already were inside the ruins of Anchuleft, trying to get some plans for, well, House Talvani, and trying to find the chronicles of these ruins. And before we give them back, I think we're we should read them and thus have another story time. Oh, there's another enemy. Let's real quick save and try to... Yeah, I, I was so sure that this wouldn't work. This is why I saved. Okay, the sphere just went into sleep mode. I did hurt it. I did. I didn't notice that I actually hit it. I thought it was another shot onto the wall. Nope, that's not the button. That's the button. And there we go. Ooh. An emerald and a diamond. It's not a black diamond though. Let's keep heading. Oh, fighting music. I wanted to say let's let's keep with the left wall. There's someone in there. I can see them walk. Let's save, and then open the door. It's a dwarven ghost. Why can I hear them walking? Let's real quick head out before the sphere or the spider gets us. Uh, phew, because we need to recharge our magicka. Magicka. Because there is a spider that was perfect. Not. Okay, we still have the capacity to carry weight. And we are healed again. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Luckily, the sphere is too big for a door that where only one of the two doors is open. And it's unable to open doors, so... Okay. There we go. Let's check the ghost, the remains of the ghost, ectoplasm. And we can still hear the ghost. And there is a steel dwemer, dwemer closet. Which is closed. And I think we're just going to use our lockpick for that one. Which increases our, if it works, increases our skill. Or uses up the lockpick. Oh, a jinx, a jinx sword. Which means... It paralyzes. It's a short blade one-handed which paralyzes the enemy on hit. That's interesting. Short sword, which is short blade, which is what we're using. 4 to 8 damage, 7 to 12 damage. So this does 3, that does more damage. Well, it doesn't have the poison effect, but it paralyzes the enemy. Which I actually think is better. I, I want to use that one in the future. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks that looks way better. Oh yeah. There's nobody nobody more here. Nobody here anymore. Who? 
that's close and that's over our capacity so what we're going to do is the old thing we're going to mark this area and get back to the nearest temple wherever this may be Aldrun. Well, there are places where we can sell stuff in Aldrun. We are making big money. Okay, let's head up these stairs to where the market is. Okay, walking against the wind is hard. That was the smith, and over here that much should be... Oh, look over here. I was mixing up people. The pawnbroker, that's where I wanted to go. Sir, I have some things to sell to you. Oh, and he still offers the work. Ah. <sighs> Well, we will get bad prices, that much I know, but it's one way to increase our standing. Okay, glass blade, which does the same, but does less damage. It was, oh, 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 look at the value of 6,000. That's way too much for him, for, for the vendor. How do I do this? I'm going to offer this sword and then like, buy back everything else that he has. Completely over encumbering me. That's so weird. I should be crushed by the weight of everything that I have right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, not much. Let's do this. Restore fatigue. Restore fatigue. These I'm go actually going to use. And let's try to remove things. 518. You know what? I'm going to cut your little bargain. There you go. No, we simply wait for 24 hours. Safe worn list could not find worn item. <laughs> ah, nice. I am over in comfort and this is why I can't move. <laughs> this is so hilarious. Uh, you know what, let's first do the alchemy. Where is the alchemy equipment? Ah, uh, this game. Uh, restore fatigue. There we go. And the Houndmeat does the same. We're still at restore fatigue, which is here. Ah, uh, yeah. Lots of fun. Of course, the potions uh, should be worth more than the ingredients. There we go. And I think that was everything. Restore fatigue. Yeah. Do we have more restore health than that one? And that single one? No. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to throw these. I'm going to sell that one. And since it's the next day, he is again stocked with money. Cast when used, no. In that case, I would want a permanent effect, actually. Okay, and selling back. Oh. No, 
now it gets interesting. There was cupelite disease, slow falling, water walking. We can cast ourselves. Swift swim. How about only one of that? How about a second one? And there we go. I know we n we're getting nowhere near 6,000, but honestly, that doesn't matter at all. Because we're making so much money. There we go. First of fatigue is interesting. Blight disease. I think we have a quest where we need this. The two swift swims go. I think this is this is the restore fatigue that we did, isn't it? Even more, 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 more. Let's sell all of these because we have nine for quality restore fatigue, and then these two. And these are heavy. Uh, what else do we have? This is restore health. Oh, we also have these. <laughs> this this money here, like one Dwemer coin being worth fifty gold, or fifty septims. So racer plumes. I should sell all of them. I think we can just sell that stuff for now, since we don't know the other um, the other properties, and we can still get that stuff. So, resist poison, restore luck, drain fatigue, again, fortify agility. Some I want these gems to. To be stored somewhere but yeah there's actually not much that I can do there we go a bit here a little bit there trying to get one gold more which worked and he likes us a bit more again I guess. Oh, I thought the script error kick would come again. Okay. Now let's see. This is fortify intelligence, restore intelligence, train agility. This is a little bit. Yeah, this this takes a little time because I need to concentrate, and my concentration isn't that perfect anymore. Okay, now let's basically drain the rest. No, let th those we sell at our good friend. Our very good friend. Now you get a little bit of a better offer. Of course, I am talking about our good friend in Balmora. Which I'm actually going to visit right now. Hmm. Think we need to go down here. Ravir the trader. Our very one of our very good friends. Even if you might not know yet. Through the Mage's Guild transport. Avoiding Edwina. So she can't ask us about the about the plants that she asked us to get. And there we go. Let's travel to Balmora. How may I help you, Khajiit? I'm just traveling through, just passing through. Uh, let's head upstairs. Hello, ma'am. To our trader friend.
There we go, Ravir, the trader. Hello, Ravir, I've got some more stuff for you. Ah, uh, Daedric weapons, I have Dwemer coins. Yes, all for you, for just 250 gold. What do you say? Oh, you know? Then how about 240? Yeah, that's what he wants. Perfect. And now I'm just going to take a little rest. This is always where the frame rate drops. Okay, a little rest. Well, there are beds here. Uh, there, in this area. Until healed. And now, I'm going to use recall to return back to the ruins. What try that is. Uh, uh, the what now? The enemies seem to have respawned. Well, do we have restore health? Yes, there we have restore health. Yes, of course the enemies do respawn, but I didn't think it would happen so quickly. But... <laughs> but... We can just keep on emptying these until they are empty, of course. Ah, now we can even rest in here, which is good. We don't need to look at that. Just taking the valuable stuff. Take all. Take all. There was glass. These are very heavy. Scarab schematics. Very light, very valuable. More of that. Oh, these are these are heavy. It's not just heavy armor, and this is even heavier. These coins are worth a lot for their weight. Okay. Well, there you go. That was a spider. And of course, I already looted that one. Just let me check the spider. Okay, so we are heading that way. We're still here for the Chronicles. What kind of plants do he, does he want? The schematics from the ruins. Some Dwemer schematics. Okay, he doesn't even didn't even tell me which one. It could be the ones that we already have, or it could be something completely different. But we're looking for the Chronicles anyway, so if I do take all, I will be over-encumbered and I don't want to have to... Well, I need to go back, but... How much was that worth? 20. Well, it's not, it's not worth that much. It's only like twice its weight. Oh, that's a big barrel. Ah, metal. That's, that's one thing. I see this and I kind of want to repair this. A small keg. That's something. Frost salts. That's something we can take. I'm getting picky. Raw ebony is very heavy. I didn't... Well, I didn't think that it was that heavy. Let's put that back. Okay, now this is the way we go. And you know what? I'm going to put these in here too. And 
we're heading upstairs. Okay, red lights. The Chronicles. Okay, let's first let's first search the place, and then we will read the Chronicles off and to left. There is lava here. I guess this is kind of a generator, and it looks like the scarab plants is what we were supposed to fetch. Because that's all of the ruins here. We are done. No one there. Perfect. So, oh, there is someone there. Well, let's just real quick electrocute them. And... Now I'm going to read the book that we just acquired, because we're going to give it to someone else and might not have the chance to read it again. This is a chronicle of events of historical significance to the Dwemer Freehold Colony of Nchileft. The text was probably recorded by an Altmer, for it is written in Aldmeris. 23rd, the death of Lord Illundam. It happened in Second Planting, PD 1220, that Lord Illundam, on a journey in the Western Uplands, came to Nchuleft and Protector Anchard and General Rekuntunch met him there. And Del and Sanchu also came to the meeting. They talked together long by themselves, but this only was known of their business, that they were to be friends of each other. They parted, and each went home to his own colony. Bluthange and her sons came to hear of this meeting, and saw in this secret meeting a treasonable plot against the councils, and they often talked about this uh, among themselves. When spring came, the councils proclaimed as usual a council meet in the halls of Bams Amshend, the people accordingly assembled, hand-fasted with ale and song, drinking bravely, and much and many things were talked over at the drink table, and, among other things, were comparisons between different women, and at last among the councillors themselves. One said that Lord Illundam excelled his fellow councillors by councillors by far and in every way. At this Councillor Bluthange was very angry and said that she was in no way less than Lord Illendam and that she was eager to prove it. Instantly both parties were so inflamed that they challenged each other to battle and ran to their ar arms. But some citizens who were less drunk and more understanding came between them and quieted them and each went back to his colony, but nobody expected they, that they would ever meet in peace again together. But then, in the fall, Lord Illendam received a message. Blah, blah, my tongue is completely twisted today. Received a message from Councillor Bluthange, inviting him to a parley at Hendra Stardom's. And all Illendam's kin and citizens strongly urged him not to come, fearing treachery. But Lord Illendam would not listen to counsel not even to carrying with him his honor guard. And sadly it came to pass that, while traveling to Endor Stardoms in Shinsinj Pass, a host of foul creatures set upon Lord Illendam and killed him and all of his party. And many citizens said thereafter that Bluthange and her sons had conjured these beasts and set them upon Lord Illendam, but nothing was proven. Lord Elendam lies buried at a place called Leftunge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chronicles of Chulaft that we need to deliver. Not to the council, though, but to that person that the council has sorry, has sent us to once. 
hope that I find this, but yeah, it, it was in Gnesis, right? I'm going to do the um, CV intervention again, teleport back to Aldrun, and actually from there, head over to Gnesis because it's closer. Well, it doesn't matter if I take the guild, the guild teleport or the Silt Strider, to be honest. But still, I'm going to hand over the book first. And then... I'm going to get to the council. And hand over the plans. I was nearly swept down this thing by the wind. Travel to Nessus. Now that we know that the G is silent. And again, save often. For the game is buggy and tends to crash. For that, sadly, is the ways of the Elder Scrolls. There we go. Through the door. Come on up the stairs. Or the ramp in that case, but the stairs over here. And then to deliver the book that we found. Oh, it's a ramp too. Okay. <laughs> go. Why well, I've come here, I've found the book that you're looking for. Yes, there it is. Good. I will not forget this, Nighty. Yeah, it likes me a lot. That's a Daedroth, and he's not hostile. What an interesting turn of events. Saving and heading to the council to hand over that quest too. Mm -hmm. So there we go. the Silt Strider and then to the Guild Travel. Uh, the yawning comes back even though I had some coffee. I think this will be the last episode that I record today. And once I return the quest to the council, I think that, that this will also be the end of this episode. So, off to... That was wrong. That was really wrong. Well, I can go to Blamora from here. go to Belmora. There is also a uh, a guild hall. And just take a little detour. Maybe that was fate. Maybe we were we were bound to sell stuff here again. To our good friend Ravir the trader. Barta. And we have some more valuables for you. There we go. Oh, that's more than he has. Just noticed. So everything is so super valuable here. Let's do this and just... Give him 
a little discount. For then he likes us more. And now head over to the Mage's Guild and use the travel there. Is there something I can to Wolverine Hall. There we go. Said Rithmora Wolverine Hall. Welcome. Please don't. And I don't want you to listen, I just want to get out of here. Watch this above. Any time now. <laughs> I'm saving a lot here because the game crashed around here last time so it's kind of weird and uh, how you let your guard down after a while with things like that so back to the council hall it is with the nice sun over there shining on our fur warming us That's nice. And over here is, as always, the entrance to the Council Hall. Yeah, sigh all you want, I'm still going to visit the Council now. There we go. Council House. Council Hall. And I think it was number three. Have you found... Have you found the plants in until left? Yeah, I did. Here they are. Good. If you were successful, Archmagister Gothram wanted you to have this. A helm? Well, we're going to check if we need that. Do we have some more chores for us? I know of no other chores Archmagister Gothram needs done. Let's check with the other mouths. How about Raven Omain? The mouth of Mistress Dratha. Do we have any chores for us? Oh, five portions of muck. I can gather it myself or I can buy it. Okay. Well, I think then we're going to get a little dirty and harvest some muck from muck sponges. But not today, not this Morrowind Monday, but next week when it is again Morrowind Monday. So, bye bye.